What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video today. A lot of people asking me about summer transfer, Real Madrid, Mbappe. He goes to about 100 overall if you're using a top class manager that gets an 88 rating of his proficiency. But it is pretty much a standard Mbappe card. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of pointers with this card. How to get the best out of him. We're going to show you the best build of him. And then we're going to kind of compare him to other Mbappe cards. Because there have been a lot of Mbappe cards over the last, probably what, 12 to 20 months. Um, it, it seems to be that he's, he's pretty much featured every two months. Because he's such a popular card. Now obviously with Mbappe you're looking at speed, you're looking at finishing, you're looking at powerful running and really nice tricks and just direct kind of running gun play. He kind of suits the gameplay as best as be, you know as best as any player in the game. I mean, he's kind of like a Romario light kind of player, that running gun style. He's got double touch and chip shot control with acrobatic finishing and first time shots straight off the rip. He doesn't have an advanced uh, you know, ball roll or double touch, so you will need to give him flip-flap and soul control if you want to go for that. But he does have trickster, amazing run and speeding bullet and incisive run as his playstyle. Now, if you guys want a video on playstyle, I've been waiting to do a lot of kind of like deep dive analysis videos until eFootball 2025 because I know there's going to be a lot of stuff changing with eFootball 2025 and that the gameplay is going to be changing. We can discuss all of that. We will, but until then, we're going to wait and see, obviously, how the game is going to shape up in the next couple of weeks, right? But back to Mbappe, he's down as a goal poacher, he's got 24 levels, and it is the first Real Madrid card, it is part of this pack, there is 11 players in the pack, you can get one free from doing the event, and then you can co it costs you thousands of coins to guarantee yourself all of these players if you want there's 11 in the box in total, right? So I'm not going to focus too much on the box. It's kind of a disappointing box. There's a couple of players in there that are pretty decent. Um, but it is all about Mbappe, right? So I'm going to show you Mbappe and I'm going to show you a couple of his cards um, in a second. But first, we're going to show you his stats, right? So this is Mbappe's stats and how they train up when you are actually training him effectively as a run and gun center forward. Now, if you've got, and this goes without saying, right? If you've been playing this game a long time, this card is not for you. It's not It's not really aimed towards you. It is aimed towards people that have downloaded and started playing the game in June, July, and early August. And obviously, going into eFootball 2025, you have got a really good center forward that you're able to base your game around. 90 offensive awareness. Offensive awareness is obviously for new players, if you don't know. It's how you know effectively the player will get into scoring positions for when you're not controlling it manually. Ball control, dribbling, tight possession, all over 90, especially the dribbling at 95 and the tight possession and finishing at 90 each is huge. And then, of course, you've got your speed, you've got your acceleration, which is massive on this card. Kick and power at 83. That's probably one of the weaknesses of Mbappe. This card has got better kick and power than a lot of his other cards, but it's still kind of lower compared to, you know, some of the top tier cards, right? And then balance at 90 as well. And to get that stat breakdown there, this is the progression. 6 into shooting, 10, 12, or 10 into dribbling, 7 into dex and lower body. It's a fairly easy card to actually, you know, build up, I suppose. Now, we have got an issue here, I think, if you are, and if anyone has been playing this game for a long time, okay? A lot of the time that it's going to come down to you having other cards. Now, we have got Showtime Mbappe. Now, this Mbappe card is absolutely insane, lads. This is the one that they released with the phenomenal finishing, right? So, we have a lot of versions of Mbappe here, and we're going to show you a couple. So, this is the Showtime one here. Um, and this is going to be 103 overall Mbappe. This new Real Madrid Mbappe just does not compare at the moment with this because you have 88 kick and power, you've got 98 speed, 100 acceleration. The only thing missing on this card is tie possession at 90. And to be honest with you, that's not a massive, massive concern uh, because we can just literally train the card in a slightly different way to get that at 90 if we just take one out of lower body there and, it, and, and the rest is going to be staying normal. You know what I mean? So it's not that big of a deal if we are to just keep this build the exact same here and just take one out of lower body strength. And with the free reset at the moment, that is very, very simple to do, right? So we're going to just go the same stats all across. We have even stuff into passing there. We can take that out of passing if you don't want to. We can just go a little bit more into dribbling if you want because of the way that this card is built. It's a very, very nice card that you can just build up very effectively and without much, you know, kind of messing around with it. Like a lot of people will mess around with cards and they'll be like, oh, we want this or we want that. This card, in fairness, you can't really train it in a bad way. Even with the passing, you can get the passing to 80 as well. But the tie possession at 90 on this card is going to be very effective if you are dribbling a lot with him. And again, you still have a couple of points left over there 
if you want to increase the kink and power, you can still do so. But there you have your balance, your acceleration, your speed, your finishing, your tight possession and everything. You don't really need finishing, or sorry, you don't, you don't need finishing past 90 and you don't really need low pass on a run and gun center forward. If you're able to give him one touch pass or if a striker does have one touch pass, um, it does help. But yeah, that is kind of an, a nice build there of Mbappe, right? Also on this card, we have this Mbappe here, which was the latest free card that they released, um, which was, I think, a couple of weeks ago or maybe a couple of months ago. Now, you can see a little bit of a weakness here. He still has, he has every mark that you could possibly want, but the kick and power is a little bit lower um, than on the key stats that you're going to see on this guy here. You know, the kick and power is 83 on that. The rest of the stats are going to be pretty much identical. And that's going to be the same case for Mbappe. So my advice to you, and this is the original old school Mbappe, right? He had the kick and power under 80 as well, but still, every other stat that matters from attacking awareness or offensive awareness, ball control, dribbling, type possession, finishing, speed, acceleration, and balance, all over 90. Um, they all have the same skills, you know, um, give or take, the Showtime one. So yeah, if you are thinking of spending a thousand coins or if you're going to guarantee yourself getting a thousand coins um, on an Mbappe, if you have another version of Mbappe, lads, they're pretty much going to do the same job as you. They don't really veer too far away from the standard card of Mbappe. Um, but yeah, he definitely is going to be, if you are a newcomer and you want to get Mbappe for a thousand cards, a thousand coins, you're probably going to have an end game level card you know, going into eFootball 2025, and that's where it's geared towards, so let me know what you guys think of the Summer Transfer Volume 2, that's just a quick little review and breakdown of Mbappe, my advice is, if you have another version of Mbappe, you don't really need to go for this one, because trust me, they will bring out a, a better version of Mbappe at launch, trust me on that, or around launch, they'll bring out a different version of Mbappe, and you know he's going to score a lot of goals, so he's going to be featured a lot in the game. So, yeah, I would definitely say if you get him in a couple of spins, if you get him in three or four spins, he's definitely going to be worth it, as is, you know, any card. It's like Paul Scholes. We weren't going to spin for Scholesy. We spun one pack, won 900 coins, and we got Scholesy in our first spin for 900 coins. So that makes it that Scholesy is, like, well worth the coins. But if we had to go deep and spend, you know... 50 quid or 40 quid to get goals, it changes the dynamic a little bit. Same with Mbappe. You could spin and get your free spin of Mbappe. It's a godly card. If you spin two or three and it costs you two or three hundred coins, it's a beastly, you know, addition to your squad. But if you have to go deep, I do think if you have another version of Mbappe, you'll be fine. So let me know what you guys think. Has he been banging goals in for you? I'll be back very, very soon. Peace.